In our final segment of dealing with math anxiety, we'd like to share some strategies that can help you to deal with your math anxiety and succeed as a math learner. First of all, begin by applying good test-taking techniques, including doing the easiest problems first. Doing this will get you started and will build your math confidence. Once you have some questions completed, you will begin to relax before moving on to more challenging questions. When doing math, be sure to read all of the material you are given. Identify the information you have been given and make notes. If an assignment includes examples, don't just look at them. Actually work through the steps in the examples so you understand them. If there is a step you are uncertain about, you will then be able to help your teacher by identifying exactly where you are unclear. When working through problems, write things down. Don't just review or highlight information. The physical act of writing things down helps many students to remember information. Be sure to do any practice exercises. Repetition can help reinforce new concepts. Many students struggle with word problems, but following a routine can help. Begin by being methodical when doing word problems. This means read the problems, now read it again. Ask yourself, what information have I been given? Next, ask yourself, what is the question that I need to answer? If a drawing or diagram might help you to understand the information, then make a drawing and label it with the information provided in the problem. You can also label any unknown quantities on your drawing. Sometimes a basic drawing can help you to see what you need to do. Next, create an equation that will resolve the question you are trying to answer. Pay attention to the scale and dimension identified in the problem. For example, when solving for area, your answer should be in square meters or square feet and not just in meters or feet. Finally, once you have solved your problem, take a minute to think through your work and check that your answer actually makes sense. Thank you for joining this ACE Distance podcast. We hope you have learned more about math anxiety as well as some techniques and strategies to lessen its impact. Kleena Garrity, one of our math teachers, likes to remind students that math, M-A-T-H, stands for make all things happen. Now that's a positive math attitude. Please join us for other ACE Distance podcasts on topics of interest to adult learners. Goodbye. Mm-hmm.